All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is Soul Ties, where we usually talk about sneakers, but today I want to talk about something much bigger than sneakers and much more important than sneakers. So, Jesus is King released today, and it was a little bit delayed, to say the least. Um, Kanye just wanted to make sure he put out something good, something great, and I think he did. He did just that. Now. Before I get into the album and stuff, people have many opinions about Kanye, and he's one of the biggest artists of my generation. He's remembered for a lot of huge hit rec hit records, as well as his <laughs> antics, as far as like the Taylor Swift uh, MTV Awards, I believe it was, the uh, Sway interview, and more recently the "Slavery Is a Choice" comments. So, no matter how you feel about Kanye one way or the other or indifferent you probably have an opinion about him so more most recently he started this thing Sunday service where people weren't sure if it was a church or if it was entertainment or a concert and a lot of interviews have released today and in the past week um, one on Apple with Zane Lowe and another today with Big Boy who is a big DJ here in LA on 92.3, uh, real 92.3. And there Kanye was al allowed to speak a lot more on what is going on. I know there's been clips of the Sunday services and Kanye is pretty much testifying of his experiences and, and God's grace on him and delivering him out of certain things. And I wasn't sure with this Jesus is King album how explicit the content was going to be. There was a previous album called The Life of Pablo, if you're not familiar, that he claimed was a gospel album. But there was actually a lot of uh, cursing, profanity, explicit lyrics on it. But this album, you won't find that. This album is totally clean. You can listen to it with your kids in the car. Um, from the first track to the last track, he is declaring Jesus Christ is Lord, that Jesus is King, and that's exactly what he delivered um, from the self, the, the title of the album, you know, that Jesus is King, that's exactly what he's giving th throughout the, this album and, and its content. And uh, I believe track one um, might have been recorded at one of the, one of these Sunday services. And it sounded, um, it sounded just like that. Like it was recorded, you know, they weren't, there was outside somewhere, but then once they got into the, the, the next tracks, it, you know, you can tell it was a studio recorded, uh, album, a studio album. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, I am a Christian and for Kanye to come out with a fully, ex um, I don't want to say explicit, but like. It's just totally Jesus. It's all Jesus on this album, and, and I'm here for it. I, I, I really love it. I really enjoyed it. Now, just to, like for Christians, um, a lot of people were skeptical of Kanye and wondering if his conversion was genuine or not, or if his commitment to Christ was genuine. And I didn't really get into many of the comments on social media, but I really believe after hearing the interviews and just listening to conversations he's had, that this is real. This is a true move of God. This is God's doing. This is the work of the Holy Spirit in his life. And for him to just come out and be explicitly Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is, I mean, he said that he's killed his career already, but for somebody in, in, in the limelight like he is to come out and say that, that's really not popular in today's culture. And as a matter of fact, it can be very damaging because it's not a popular message. And I've seen in some of the comments, a lot of people who were fans of Kanye kind of turn on him just for uh, coming out with, with the stuff he's saying. Um, politics aside and, and, and the other comments aside, just for him um, coming out and saying he's a Christian and believes in Jesus, um, people kind of turning on him. And that's kind of the way, the way of the world. You know, when you turn to God, the world turns on you. But um, I remember when I first became a Christian, because I wasn't always a Christian, I remember um, praying for my favorite artists. Like I would go and I would pray for all the rappers that I would listen to, Wayne and all those guys, Kanye. 
I would pray for them because I really wanted them, not just them, but like everybody. But I do remember praying for rappers, praying for my favorite rappers to come to know the Lord, man. And uh, I was telling my wife this earlier and I actually began to cry because God heard my prayers, you know, and I don't believe like I was the only one praying for them. I do believe God heard my prayers because otherwise, why, why am I praying? You know, I have confidence that God hears, but um, I'm sure other people were praying for him. I'm sure his family members and everybody was praying for him. And when he first started, you know, with college dropout, you can hear Jesus in his lyrics. You can hear his faith coming through his mouth, you know, but now it's just like he's totally surrendered, man, and I'm here for it. I love it. And so I, I just remember praying for my favorite artist and, and to see him now just in his conversation and that he's free. He feels free. Like to me, he sounds so free. He doesn't care what anybody thinks, even though he says he does to be bold out and just come out with, with, with uh, pro declare your faith, proclaim your faith the way he has done and the way he's doing to me is like he's free. He's found he's found his peace. He's found his purpose. He's found his calling. And man, uh, I'm really grateful, man. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. I'm so blessed that that this is taking place because Kanye is one of the best artists to me, and he's one of my one of my favorite. You know, and so it just shows you know never give up on somebody. Always have faith, and. Um, to the Christians criti being criticizing or, or critical of him and skept skeptic, skeptical, I'm sorry. Um, I would say, man, just sit back and let God be God. You don't know. You, you, we can, the, the word of God says we can't even judge our own motives. We don't know our own motives. So how are we going to know somebody else's motives? Um, I know judge a tree by its fruit, but blah, yada, yada, yada. But don't be like, you know who he reminds me of? If you read your word, Paul. He reminds me much like Paul. Paul was a, a Pharisee of the Pharisees, meaning he was a Jew. He was a re very religious person. Didn't accept the teachings of Jesus because Jesus started a revolution and showed them the Father, showed them God. But when Paul converted and believed in Jesus because Jesus revealed himself to him, he was kind of stuck in no man's land. The Pharisees didn't want him anymore because he converted to uh, the way. And the Christians didn't want him because he, being a Pharisee, used to persecute the Christians. And so they were skeptical. And so he was kind of stuck in no man's land for a time where the Christians didn't really want to get close to him because they weren't sure if his conversion was real and if they should accept him or if he was just trying to trick them. And uh, so he was kind of stuck there and I could hear that in, in one of his songs where he was saying, what do the Christians say about you? And he was saying, they're, they're, be, they're the first ones to judge, judge me, feeling, got me feeling like nobody loves me. And that, that, that is so sad. And that's not the heart of God. That's not the heart of Christ. Um, if somebody accepts Christ, man, we are to rejoice. We're to welcome them with open arms. We're to pray for them. And that's another thing I would say. If you haven't prayed for Kanye, you really shouldn't say anything about him as far as his conversion goes, as far as judging him goes or being critical or being skeptical. If you have not gone to the Father for him, for this man and prayed for him, you really shouldn't say anything um, and so, man, give grace to people. Let this man, uh, let God do what this man, with this man, what he's going to do. And let's sit back and rejoice in the meantime. And if you are skeptical, I understand sometimes, you know, but, uh, with big stars and stuff, but go and pray for this man, go in your prayer closet, pray for him and just believe God that God's going to do something in his life. And I believe he's already doing, and like I said, I'm excited for it. So, um, the album sonically to me was, was good. I thought in the beginning, cause I first heard the first song, I've only listened to it with earbuds and I should listen to it in the car, but it sounded really good. And the, like I said, the first track sounded like it was recorded outside. That's what got me thinking, oh, it doesn't sound too good. But then the next nine tracks, they sounded really good. And <laughs> we got, a uh, uh, Eclipse Reunion. Now, I, before I even knew about this, I was already thinking about making this video a couple days ago before I knew the clips and the clips was a group that came out um, long time ago. I believe in 2002, correct me if I'm wrong. 
they came out with the song Grinding and they were really pushing coke rap, you know, rapping about cocaine. And there was a breakup and and before before the breakup even happened and the breakup happened because one of the brothers gave his life to Jesus. You could hear in the rhymes in the lyrics uh his it leading up to that point until the casket drops that album you can hear no malices then it was called malice you can hear in his in his lyrics that he was rhyming about Jesus and and giving his life to God and surrendering and he was kind of struggling and so when he finally did it he says that's it no more clips I'm not rapping about coke anymore I can't do it you know it got all my people and my family locked up and I'm just not going to do it anymore. And he hasn't rapped about that since then, only to tell his testimony. So check out No Malice and his album. So this kind of, his conversion reminded me of that. And then what do we know? We get No Malice and his brother Pusha T on a track with Kanye. Um, and that was, that was awesome. Now Kanye was on their albums too as well. He produced a lot of beats for them and stuff. And, but man, that, that was just awesome to hear, you know, and... Man, we got a re clips reunion. We have no malice on the track with Kanye rapping about Jesus. Man, that was that was amazing to me. And so shout out no malice. Um, and I've been praying for you too, brother. Um, no malice, been praying for you. I've been praying for your brother Pusha T that he would come to the Lord because I know that by your faithfulness, God's gonna draw him in, and and maybe your faithfulness had something to do with Kanye's. I don't know. You know, God uses people around in your sphere of influence to, to draw you in. So, oh man, I'm just excited. Um, I do have tickets to tonight's uh, short film of Kanye's Jesus uh, is King. So me and my wife are going to go check that out tonight at 630. So do stay tuned. And I do want to try to make it out to LA tomorrow. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, if it's a Sunday service or if it's just a little pop-up or a big album release party, but it's supposed to last this whole weekend, I'll try to get that image up for you right here with all the information. It's supposed to last Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, I think at the forum, they're doing something at 12. Tickets are supposed to go on sale tomorrow for $10. So, um, man, just an exciting time to see what God is doing, man. Like, to me, this is crazy. Kanye is one of the biggest artists of my generation, and for him to come out and just explicitly say, <laughs> I'm serving Jesus now, I'm a child of God is just like I've, we've never seen anything like this before. Most of the time, when an art, when an artist or an actor or anybody in, in the limelight or in celebrity status gives their life to Jesus, they kind of just fade away. And then you wonder what happened to that rapper or what happened to this actor. And if you do your research, you'll actually find out that they gave their life to Jesus, they gave their life to Christ. But it's after that, Hollywood just kind of they. I don't know if it's their own convictions and they don't want to do it anymore or if they just fall off or Hollywood just kicks them out and is like, all right, on to the next star. But this is really something, uh, this is a move. This is a move, man, and, and I'm here for it. So if you like this video, please leave a like. Comment down below what you think, what your thoughts, opinions. Uh, please share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And grace and peace to you. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.